Hansel and Gretel. This is the story of Hansel and Gretel. They live with their stepmother and father. They haven't got a lot of money. Their father is a woodcutter. Their stepmother is not a good woman. She shouts at the children every day. One night, the children are in bed. We haven't got any money, father says. We haven't got any food, the bad stepmother says. We must leave Hansel and Gretel in the forest. No, we can't do that, says father. We must, says the bad stepmother. Okay, but it isn't right, says father. But Hansel and Gretel aren't sleeping, and they hear their father and stepmother. What can we do? asks Gretel. We will be okay, says Hansel. I've got an idea. In the morning, the bad stepmother shouts at the children. Get up! We must go to the forest for wood. Hansel and Gretel walk with their father and stepmother. Gretel is afraid. And the woodcutter is sad, but Hansel isn't afraid. He isn't sad. He's dropping stones. They can follow the stones and go home. In the middle of the forest, the bad stepmother says, "Let's make a fire. Father and I will get some wood. Wait here." Father and the bad stepmother leave. Hansel and Gretel sit under a tree and wait. They wait and wait, but father and the bad stepmother don't come back. Don't be sad, Gretel," says Hansel. "Let's look for the stones. We can follow the stones and go home." Hansel and Gretel walk all night and all day, but they can't find the stones. They are lost. They are very hungry and very tired. They go to sleep under a tree. When they wake up, they see a little bird. It's singing a beautiful song. Hansel and Gretel follow the little bird. The bird takes them to a little house. It is a house of cake and sweets. Let's eat, say Hansel and Gretel. I'll eat some cake. Says Gretel, "I'll eat some sweets." Says Hansel, "Yummy!" Say Hansel and Gretel. Who is eating my house? Someone asks. An old woman comes out of the house. "Hello, little children," she says. "Are you hungry? Come into my house." Hansel and Gretel go into her house. The old woman gives them some milk and biscuits. They eat a lot and they go to sleep. But the old woman is a bad woman. She is a witch. She wants to eat Hansel and Gretel. In the morning, the witch wakes up. The children are sleeping. The witch takes Hansel and puts him in a cave. Help! Help! He shouts. What are you doing? Gretel asks the witch. The witch says, "Be quiet. Go and get some milk and biscuits for your brother. He must be fat. I'm going to eat him." Oh no! Says Gretel. Every day, Gretel gives Hansel food, but he doesn't eat a lot. He doesn't want the witch to eat him. But the witch wants to eat Hansel. Every day, she says. Show me your finger. She wants to see if his finger is fat, but Hansel gives her an old bone to feel. I don't understand. You aren't fat, she shouts. One day, the witch is angry. You will never be fat, Hansel, she shouts. I'm going to eat you tomorrow. Gretel is in bed. She hears the witch and gets up. Oh no," she says. "Please don't eat my brother. Be quiet," says the witch. "Get me some pepper. I will make boy soup." 
I like a lot of pepper in boy soup. Gretel gets the pepper because she is afraid. But Gretel wants to help her brother. She's got an idea. She blows a lot of pepper at the witch. Now the witch can't see. Help! Where am I? She shouts. Gretel pushes the witch into the fire. Ah! Shouts the witch. Gretel runs to Hansel's cage. Gretel opens the door of the cage, and Hansel comes out. They are very happy. Let's take the bad witch's gold," says Hansel. "That's a good idea," says Gretel. They take the gold and leave the house. They see some birds. They sing, "Little birds, little birds, we're lost and alone. Little birds, little birds, take us home." The birds take them home. Father is very happy when he sees his two children. "You are home," he says. I'm very happy. The bad stepmother does not live there now. Hansel and Gretel give father the gold. Now they will never be hungry. Everyone is happy.